what's up YouTube okay <laughs> I'm trying to get used to saying that so uh, as I said in my last video if you watched my video about um, Zach my Zach Bagans um, museum experience um, I said I would come back on and share um, a couple of personal stories that I have uh, they're not anything major, but it's, it's, it's the little things that add up, you know, and that make you be like, yeah, there's, there's other stuff, uh, out there besides, besides us. There is, you know, but I don't tell many people about it because, especially my family, because they think it's crazy. They don't believe in that. They're really, they're really big skeptics as far as the paranormal. Um, my husband, he is kind of a skeptic. Uh, I think he leaves his mind open that it's a possibility. But I'll tell you my stories and then you decide. So, um... Before I tell you uh, one of my stories, uh, I told you in the last video that that when I use Snapchat, the filters, uh, I always have an extra face pop up. So what I'll do is um, I saved one of the videos because it was just so hilarious. I saved one, so I'll insert it here. So now that you saw that, you see what I'm saying, like it would just come out of nowhere. And you know, I'm not blaming it on the paranormal, okay? Cause like I said, I'm not a skeptic, but I'm also on the fence. So I haven't had a, enough proof uh, that, that, you know, I've seen other YouTubers and I've seen their experience, but I haven't had those for myself. So, anyway, so my first um, story, I'm going to start with when I was small. I think I was like eight, eight or nine. I was living, uh, me and my mom was living at this apartment. And uh, when we first moved in there, I, I, like, I never was happy in that apartment. I always felt like it was just weirdness a weird vibe in there and it wasn't anything to do with home because it was our home was like really calm just chill you know but it was just the um what do you call it the vibe the environment it felt weird so um so i was asleep one night and I, um, this is the first time it ever happened. We had been living there. We've been living there a while. Um, I was always scared something was always with me. And, you know, she would leave me at home sometimes to run to the store right down the road. And I would be so scared. And, um, when this happened, things, it, it changed though. So, I was asleep, sleeping really good. And something woke me up just out of nowhere I just I just rolled over and I just opened my eyes and like in front of my closet I had one of those sliding closet you know uh, I saw an outline of this it looked like a woman it was just an outline I guess what would you call it shadow maybe I don't know I don't know what you would call it 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 was just like I could see a clear outline no features just outline it was really weird and it, it looked like a woman um, she was 
you know, kind of short. Maybe, I don't know what her height would have been, but it was short. Wasn't a kid, because you could tell with the, I don't know, it was just really weird, okay? <laughs> I don't know how to explain. And I got scared, and I uh, jumped up, and I ran to my mom's room, and I was like, I'm not sleeping in there. And she says, what's, you know, what, what's wrong? And, I, and she, she said I had a bad dream. I was like, no, I was awake. I was awake for that. I, I saw that with my eyes. I was awake. Um, but she was like, oh, uh, you just, you know, because I would watch scary movies with my dad. And she's like, you just need to quit watching those scary movies with your dad and stuff. Because, you know, it, it, there is no such thing as any of that. So I took it upon myself. I was like, I'm not done with this. I'm, I'm gonna, cause we was really good friends with a neighbor of ours and we would go over there every weekend and just sit on her porch, drink tea and just talk to her. And uh, so I decided I'm gonna investigate myself. So I was sitting there, um, her name's Bessie. And I said, Bessie, <laughs> I said, I gotta ask you something. Excuse me. I said, "Did it, who lived in the apartment before me and mom moved in?" And she's like, "Why? Why do you ask? Why do you ask that?" And I was like, "It's important, <laughs> like because I, I I had woke up from a you know from sleeping, and I saw like an outline of a lady and see Bessie believed in the ghost in paranormal she believed like 100% she was like oh my goodness girl and um and she's like so you're not when I tell you this she said you're gonna be scared and I said oh really <laughs> well, like I don't know if I want to know and uh but you know she went ahead and told me uh, uh there was a lady that lived there before us she was like I don't know she was in her 50s and she had died of a heart attack so she had died of a heart attack and um, apparently she had been in there for I don't know uh, about three days before anyone you know knew her daughter checked on her from time to time but it wasn't frequent you know um, it's just when she could and so she um but she had an extra key and um so when she come to see her mom she went in and you know you know probably the rest she found her and so they done i guess they figured out you know she had had a massive heart attack or whatever and so that freaked me out a little bit because <laughs> i was like oh Yep, that, that's probably why. Um, so that was one little experience. And like I said, I've only had like tiny experiences. It's never been anything huge. Um, I, ha I didn't have anything after that. Uh, I, I always felt like when I would go different places, I would feel emotions of different places like oh this place is creepy or oh this place is sad or yeah, like i did that but i didn't I, I just you know i'm not anything like i'm not uh i can't you know sit like i just have feelings i don't know um but my next big experience well i call it it's big for me is i was you know i was living with my grandpa and so i'm having to use my phone i'm sorry i'm gonna get me a a nice camera at some point um but i was living with my grandpa and anyways he he died of a heart attack and um he he had died in the house because uh that i'm actually living in now um <laughs> but after he died you know, me and my husband, we got married. We decided we wanted to live here. And I was fixing to have my first kid. And I, like a few days after he died, I was laying on the bed that um, I had here. And I was napping and I woke up 
with something like something jerked my toe like as as funny as that <laughs> is he was a jokester though so something woke me up jerked my toe and i was like no uh that scared the crap out of me i left the house i was like no i, I mean it may be you grandpa maybe you papa but uh-uh like no i left i was like no i'm not having that um I, I mean i come back i left for a little bit come back <laughs> Um, and then, before I had my son, uh, he, well, I'm not going to blame it on him, but, I mean, obviously that's who it was. I was walking in the hallway, and we have like a big piano, Yamaha piano, and I have pictures on there. And I walked by the piano, it was in the living room, like... I wasn't walking hard. I've walked by that like 10,000 times, plenty of time. And that pi that picture just went, it just flipped off the piano. And I was like, this is like not funny, okay? Like, I mean, I couldn't believe it. Uh, I had, I put the picture back. I jumped up and down. I done everything. I was like, okay, it's not. So I don't understand what that was. It flipped off. So my next experience was with um a seashell i have seashells on the back of my toilet well i did uh as decor or whatever and they got they it was one day i was in the kitchen i believe and i just heard a like smack on the floor like you know in the bathroom so i went in there and the seashells were in the floor i was like okay uh, unless we had, I mean, had an earthquake. I mean, we don't have earthquakes around here, really. So, the seashells, they were in the floor. And I was like, okay, that's crazy. I'm sorry, I'm in the sun. I'm outside. So I can, um, have, because it's kind of loud in my house, you know. But, um, so they come off the back of the toilet. Um, so that was the last thing that I really had. Um... I did have it was it was it was a weird kind of thing like so I was watching Zach Bagans um, one of his episodes where he was in Provelia when he was when he, they done that and I I was watching it in the dark because everybody was asleep and I was like I'm not ready to go to bed yet you know so I had my phone and I was watching it on YouTube and uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's just the fact that it was kind of creepy and then, you know, all of that happened to Zach when he was there and where I had like the, all the lights out. Um, I don't know if it was just the vibe or what it was, but when I got done watching it, um, I, I, had, I was, had started getting sleepy. So I decided, well, I'm going to go to bed. And when I got up, to go into my bedroom it was <laughs> it was black like you couldn't see so i had to turn my phone light on and I, I got the creepiest feeling on the back of my neck like just behind me like it was like something like something was right up on me almost like like if a person was like following really close behind you uh that kind of feeling and i was like nah nah no, nah, I'm not gonna do that anymore. So I didn't want, <laughs> I didn't watch any more um, Ghost Adventures episodes uh, in the dark anymore, like that in the in the you know pitch black dark. So um, the last experience that I've that I had, I'm sitting on an old chair. We're throwing it away. Um, <laughs> uh, was it was weird. Um, I had been watching, I think it was after I watched Demon House that he actually uh, done the documentary on Zach Bagans. When, um, Demon House, we, were, we watched it that night. And the kids was on the bed and um, they was wanting to watch something in my room, mine and my husband's room. So I said, yeah, go ahead, you know, you can watch something. So they were going to watch something. And uh, my husband had already fell asleep he didn't even get to finish watching demon house and um so 
we were all three sitting on the bed. My husband was asleep. And uh, I heard, like, all the lights were out in the house. And I heard, bang, like a big bang, loud as crap. And I was like, oh, and I, I, I didn't even know what it was. I didn't know if it was, you know, the cat or, or what it was. So I went, but our cat, my cat's outside, you know. Um, but she, you know, she, she used to do stuff outside, but it was inside. And um, so I went into the kitchen and the, what I saw was so scary. Sorry, guys. I had to, um, I had to move to a different spot because that sun was, was getting crucial. Um, and it was messing with the light. So, anyways, um, so I had went into the kitchen. And, it, like, I, I had this, um, it was a glass jar that I had sitting, like, I have a shelf above my kitchen sink where you can put like decor and stuff. And I had um, a jar, an old antique jar, mind you. Um, it was so pretty and I, I put colored water in it. I put water and food color, like I made it red water. And, um, cause my kitchen, it's in red. Red and gray, like white. So, <laughs> um, so, when I went in the kitchen, turned the light on, all I saw in the floor was, was red water everywhere in my floor. And so, there was red water everywhere. And I said, this, this is scary. My kids were like, oh my God, you know. And I was like, don't worry, it's just red water. And I saw my jar and it was busted. It was, um really busted really bad all over the floor and I really hated that because I liked that it was antique <laughs> and um so uh I I cleaned up everything and I was like how I I tried everything to make this logical I tried every like thought of everything of why that that would have failed because the thing of, about that jar was it was heavy and with the water in it made it more weight you know what I mean and like I don't, it just I could not find a reason why it would have just flew off the top of my kitchen of the thing it just made no sense so and and I'm not blaming it on the fact that I watched the demon house I'm not blaming it on that but I mean I, it, it's all coincidental and just like my video about going to um, Zach Bagan's museum like I'm not saying that any of what I experienced was and even coming home with the thing you know when I said something I felt like something followed me like I'm not saying that it's ghost paranormal I'm just saying everything about that was ironic so and even with that jar and me watching that show it's like it's ironic it's crazy how how all of that stuff can happen um so i'm sorry if i play with my hair it's because i'm just i usually wear my hair up or off of my forehead and stuff so i'm like <laughs> i play with it a lot hence why i don't wear it down a lot but um yeah i just i'm not blaming it on the parent like i I don't know how to explain it. Like, I couldn't logically explain how any of that happened. Um, so, you just tell me what you think in the comments, like, about every experience I've told you in this video. And just let me know what you think. Um, and if you want more videos like this, because I um, have shared what I've experienced, but... I have so many other um, stories from my, like, my best friend, uh, two of my best friends. Um, <laughs> they are magnets for weird things uh, happening. Um, so, if you would like me to share 
those stories I would love to um, it would even be really even more fun if I could get them on here and you know they sit with me and tell you their stories um, because it's it's really cool it's really cool and uh, but like I said just in the comments let me know if you like you know if you want me to keep going I know this is only my second legit video but I want to keep going and I want to keep you know coming up with different things to talk about and paranormal I, I like paranormal that's I do I love the paranormal um, I like all kinds of things um, I uh, you'll come to find that more the more you watch um, I like workout I like working out uh, I do a bunch of stuff so if you you know if you want me to uh, keep making video just drop suggestions in the comments say hey I think you should do this hey I think you should do that and uh, I'm open to it um, but I hope you guys have a good day like comment subscribe if you want to you don't have to and I hope you have a good rest of your day and I will catch you again I'll try to make another video I'll try to have it up again um, this coming Monday I made my first video was Monday this one is today which is Friday I try to keep doing that um, consistently two videos a week maybe until I get you know going and then I maybe I could do something every day but I know I'm starting late for October I hate that I'm late in the game you know it's like it's almost the end of October but where I'm not you know uh, a big you know in YouTube yet you know I don't I haven't done like you know I know other youtubers are doing the 31 days of Halloween um, but you know where I'm just getting started I'm just gonna do you know a little bit here and there so just let me know and uh, hope you guys have a good day. Peace.